back um, to the second day of this amazing conference. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about how can we leverage AI for rapid innovation and growth. Um, as Laurie mentioned, I spent the last 10 years building and leading AI developments uh, in startups and then in uh, the, the world's largest social uh, network, uh, largest social platform for change.org. Um, when I first do AI development, that was the dark days, um, even though there's nine, 10 years ago, we have the handcraft deep learning ML models using the latest um, algorithm that in publications. Now the world has changed. So that was the Vidado days. Then I changed, I built and let the data science team utilize some cutting edge models to automate our campaigning effort. And then later on, in the end of 2022, we jumped onto the bandwagon to use GPT at the time was only 2.0. Um, so start the experiments to use it for uh, our notification and be able to provide better relevant contents to our supporters and users and also use it internally for legals and trust and safeties in various uh, departments. So I'm very excited uh, to take you through this journey today to talk about how can we utilize this uh, technology to be competitive. I got it, yeah, you know, there is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And as a uh, responsible AI advocate for so many years, I understand the concern but today I want to really encourage you embrace the potential of AI for better good. And I want you to see beyond the fear, beyond um, the challenges and potential job displacements to embrace this journey. We will first look into some case studies, see how other leading companies utilize AI, different forms, whether or not it is classic traditional data science, deep learning, machine learning, or the latest gen AI, you name it. Utilize, how do they utilize it to improve productivity, efficiency, to bring in more value to the customers and eventually bring in better increased revenue for the company. And we will talk about how as leaders, you can foster an environment that's encourage the curiosity, experiment, and innovation. And then last but not least, we will explore some ideas, what you can do, regardless what area, what industry you're in, to utilize the latest LLMs and various uh, existing ML techniques, data science techniques, to bring in the advantage business advantage for your team, for your organization. So I think, let's get started this. Um, some of the latest study, I, I believe a McKinsey study shows the AI adoption in 2024 has reached 23%. Now I want to be pointed out, 23% is a large number across all company, all sectors. So this is huge. This is the uptake from about 70% just a couple of years ago. And the leading sectors, probably no surprise to everybody, is technology, healthcare, and finance. Regardless what area you're in, even if outside these three big categories, these three sectors, there's still a lot of opportunity. Most companies are still in the early stage of this journey. Some of the key benefits, and probably no surprise to many of you, is productivity, innovation, and customer engagement. So I want to take you to the journey to see how some of these companies do it, and hopefully to inspire you to jump on this bandwagon. Now, let's first take a look at AI as accelerator, to accelerate innovation and development. The reason I, um, McKenzie study, oh, uh, McKenzie study shows 
that utilizing AI can reduce software development time by up to 50%. IBM study shows that it can reduce development cycles by up to 40%. And Amazon's own study shows that utilizing AI can improve developer productivity by up to 30%. This is a hard number and it's very, very encouraging. How do they do that? Let's do some study and see how every company, there's some leading companies do this. Uh, Tesla. Tesla, you know, based on their publications, they have utilized AI in multiple ways, including for vehicle software updates. In such way, they can automate these upgrade to the with new features globally, better support their customers. And they also internally use AI in their own engineering process to speed up the design and testing for new car models such that they can increase and faster the interaction and iteration design and prototype. Probably you already heard about the GitHub Copilot. And there's plenty of other tools out there. These tools effectively serve as a pair programmer. And for some of you like me, um, start our career 20 years ago, you probably heard about extreme programming methodology and pair programming technique. It's actually very, very hard to implement it in a company. Despite all the research shows its benefit. Well, guess what? Copilot effectively become a pair of programmer to help the developers, um, whether or not is accelerate the feature development, improve code quality, code completion, and unit tests, you name it. And I just talked about the Capricity Vidato story. We were um, a modern day OCR, optical uh, character recognition. We're able to use deep learning to transcribe handwritings, especially hard to read handwritings in low quality skins. And internally, we're also using ML to generate synthetic text uh, data for training in such way that we can reduce biases and increase training data quality. AI can also enhance human creativity. You think about the entire creation process, creativity process, AI become a supporter, a collaborator for humans, supports these complex decision-making process, whether or not is complement human architects, for example, designers, US designers um, on strategic thinkings, and also assist generate alternative designs and enhance rather than replace human expertise. Let's take a look at how companies do that. Anthropic, yet another tool to help developers and designers, product managers to assist ideation, writing and coding. In this case, AI acts as a collaborator, provides suggestions, feedbacks to the human design. Autodesk, they use AI-driven tools to explore multiple design scenarios quickly, help architects to faster their design process. The data shows that they can reduce project timeline by up to 50%. As a result, enhance the creative output. Hugging Face, yet another amazing company that I'm, uh, you know, pay a close attention. Its collaborated platform develops help developers, especially machine learning and AI researchers and developers, to develop and share machine learning models, including LLMs. This enable the collaborations across developers within the team and outside the team in the bigger community. Accelerate innovation, especially in ML and uh, NLP research. You probably hear this, uh, me talking about this multiple times. 
AI is truly a key to competitive advantage. It not only can help you to do product developments, it can streamline your entire operations and customer services. Many research shows using AI can reduce costs in productions. For example, there's this predictive maintenance to help reduce costs and maintenance costs in manufacturing. It improves reliability in the operations and increase customer engagements. Many of us be using any online um, retails or any services, you probably have experience and be benefit, see the benefits of these chatbots, right? So let's look into a little bit more details. John Deere, it's a company in agriculture machinery. They have been using AI and machine learning for precision agriculture. So they will analyze a large amount of data, including soil conditions, weather patterns, uh, crop health, to provide some actionable insights for farmers so they can, can improve the yields, reduce waste, and effectively increase efficiency. Sephora. So, oh, let's go back. Um, so, augmented reality has been a big game changer for online retails. In Sephora's case, they use AI to create a virtual artist, provides personalized makeup recommendations and virtual try-ons. This dramatically increased customer engagement and probably no surprise you would see that they have 200% increase in conversion rates. Almost every payment processors, payment cards, utilize AI to uh, detect fraud processes. In MasterCard's case, they utilize up to 13 different types of ML models combined with the classic root-based tools to detect and prevent fraud process, uh, fraud in real time. According to some studies, they were able to reduce fraud by 3%, uh, three times, and also reduce false positive by 6%, dramatically reduce customer service need and increase customer trust and safety uh, uh, security. So now you can see, you see all these examples. So how do we do that? How can you do that? As leaders, probably nothing bigger than really invest in an innovation culture. Foster an AI-driven culture for innovation. We can spark the curiosity that's the beginning of any kind of innovation and creativity process and develop a, a continued learning growth mindset. At the company level, as leaders, we need to encourage AI literacies in all levels, not just your development team, not just your IT team. This is for everybody. This has to come from the top. Create an environment that encourage AI experiments, whether it's hackathon, trainings, you name it, and create a fail safe environment. And don't forget, it's always better to start with AI driven internal tools and services to get everybody on board, especially get your skeptics on board. Who are your most likely skeptics? Legal teams, trust and safety teams, your cyber uh, security infosec teams. They all have good reasons, have concerns, get them to on board. So get that started. Start with the little small wins. If you're already in this journey, I want you to double down in this investment. Invest in the technology and talent development. Lead with charge by integrating AI into your strategic initiative. It's no longer just experiments. They need to be front and center in your investment. How do you do that? Let's explore some ideas. Where can you, what projects, what area you can do? 
There's plenty of this is just some examples. If you're in a development, software development area, or you have internal IT teams to produce tools to support the internal processes, well, these are some of the areas you can do. You can use different tools for code generation, completion, refactoring, pay off the tech debts in coding. To improve quality, unit tests is given now with Copilot. Right? We can use tools to do test automation and code reviews. Use AI to help your vulnerability detection and inside out uh, sc screening to scan your system. Monitor your compliance. You can use it for system performance optimization, load testing, root cause analysis. And of course, we talk about developer experience. You can use the tools to assign tasks, part, do prioritization process, transcribe meetings and summaries, and create a knowledge base, and even generate FAQs. Fundamentally, increase your customer, uh, your developer experience. You can use it for business operations, and there's trend through many of these in HR, finance, legal, marketing, and sales, and logistics, you name it. Industry-wise, regardless what industry you're in, healthcare, fintech, aerospace, energy, climate, agriculture, manufacturing, everywhere, we can use LLM model, computer vision model, ML model everywhere to create the growth, to put you and keep you in the advanced position. So let's close on this. AI really is a catalyst for rapid development. It's a collaborator, not a competitor. And you need AI to remain competitive. So I hope I will inspire you to come to get started in this journey and keep you to double down in this investment, getting even more excited for this journey. And again, my name is Elaine Joe. You can reach me in LinkedIn, my email, or on an X, um, formerly Twitter. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the conference.